Two Syrian refugees now living in southwestern Connecticut are speaking out for the first time about what they say was the government-ordered massacre of their loved ones. News 12 Connecticut's Frank Recchia joins us from the newsroom. And Frank, you spoke with these cousins from the Syrian capital of Damascus. Erica, the photos and video they shared with us are quite graphic, so be warned you may find them very disturbing. This is cell phone video of an anti-government demonstration in the Syrian capital of Damascus. They killed everyone. Refugee Abdullah Muhammad says he took the video less than a year ago. I'm not happy because every day I got like an hour, hour and a half cry like a baby in home. Danya Alhabi is his cousin. Too much, too much, the blood in my country, everywhere. They say they looked on as government forces sprayed rapid fire into a crowd of protesters. And among those hurt were their nieces and nephews. I'm scared for my family, for my children and my family. This is a photograph showing the aftermath. They say some of those killed were their close relatives. It is very heartbreaking. It's gore. Immigration lawyer Alex Mayorovich, who is himself a refugee from the former Soviet Union, helped the cousins get asylum here in the United States. These things that the clients tell me about what happened to them in Syria, uh, it's like from a horror movie. The cousins say they were interrogated at gunpoint and that there is nothing as scary as having to talk when the pressure is on and the safety catch is off. It's too much. They say until the command in Syria is passed to another government, many more will lose their lives. For just their right to express their thoughts. You can see more of the cousins' pictures and video at News12.com, but again, be warned, they are quite graphic. In the newsroom, Frank Recchia, News12 Connecticut. Good afternoon, I'm Erica Zaki. In a story you'll see only on 12, two Middle Easterners who escaped their country's bloody civil war have now found refuge here in southwestern Connecticut. And today they're talking publicly for the first time about being physically tortured and worse. It is very heartbreaking. It's gore. These things that the clients tell me about what happened to them in Syria, uh, it's like from a horror movie. Uh, days of torturing, arbitrary arrests, uh, complete humiliation for just their right to express their thoughts. They're free here, they feel free, they don't feel, there is no fear for their life. The only fear they have is fear for their relatives who are left behind. Uh, they feel anguish, they feel uh, anger. We'll hear from the Syrians coming up later in a story you'll see only on 12. In the newsroom, Frank Recchia, News 12, Connecticut.